Welcome back to Brightside here on 10 Tampa Bay, guys. Let's talk about the strengthening hurricane, Hurricane Delta right now. Uh, it was a depression this time yesterday. Now it's a Category 2 hurricane, continuing to rapidly intensify. Wind speeds at 100 miles per hour. Wind gusts up to 115 miles per hour. Moving to the west-northwest at 15, so it's picking up some forward speed, but as it moves forward faster, that means it's just going to get to land faster, especially concerning for those in the Yucatan Peninsula. So it's about 100 miles or so south of Grand Cayman right now. Category 2 hurricane, but expected to become a Category 3 hurricane likely later today. Just straight fuel with all this really warm waters in the Caribbean and southern Gulf of Mexico. So it could be a Category 4, four hurricane. Some land interaction there at the Yucatan will weaken it slightly. It, it's forecast to become a Cat 4 once again before it moves into the cooler water of the northern Gulf of Mexico right up until landfall, probably a category two, maybe even a category three hurricane at landfall. So that's the forecast track for it to maintain a hurricane strength with wind speeds around 100 to 125 miles per hour up until landfall there on the central northern Gulf Coast. You got to feel for those folks. This is going to be the fifth name storm to make landfall there and the forecast models in fairly good agreement. There is some spread, but all things considered, fairly good agreement in the forecast models for where the storm tracks. For 2020, look at all of the systems. These are just the name systems. You had Laura in southwest Louisiana, Cristobal earlier on this season for New Orleans, or at least the New Orleans area, Marco and Sally, all to make landfall in that northern Gulf Coast. Very similar to 2005, a similar number of hurricanes. Now, stronger hurricanes in 2005, you had Rita, Cindy, Katrina, Arlene, and Dennis. Dennis made landfall actually in the Florida Panhandle there, but 2020, very similar to 2005 in terms of the number of storms that we've had right now. We're on Delta, and we've got a whole bunch more of those Greek alphabet names to go. So we're not gonna run out of names this season, but certainly I think <laughs> if you're like me, I'd be okay if we didn't add any more to this list. Guys, you get a lot more information on our 10 Tampa Bay app. It's free. If you click on the weather button at the bottom of the home screen, it'll take you to our weather section. Right there, you'll find our hurricane headquarters.